What's going on everybody? It's Sam Sky and this is my rundown of I Hate the Internet. I hate, I hate the internet. So when I wrote I Hate the Internet, I was clearly not in a very good place with the internet in my relationship with it. I had just recently dropped an EP that in my opinion absolutely tanked. I was constantly comparing myself to other artists, I was constantly comparing myself to other people's numbers or just looking at my numbers and I was kind of just digging myself into uh, a bad place mentally and I think that I'm not the only person that struggles with that if we're being honest with ourselves, especially other artists out there probably know more or less exactly what I'm talking about. And the other half of that is when you believe in your music so much, when you have what Russ would call as delusional self-confidence in order to face the adversities of the world, and you believe in the very core of your being that this is what you're meant to do, and this next song is gonna be a hit, and this next song is gonna be the biggest thing ever, this next song is gonna make a difference, and it doesn't happen, and you know that like 99% of it is up to the almighty gatekeeper known as the algorithm. Everything kind of just feels out of your control and it just feels kind of like you're powerless. And that's really where a lot of the root of I Hate the Internet came from. I wrote the song in about 20 minutes. Bang, 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 bang. I just was vibing with the music so much. Genuine inspiration just kind of all fell out. A lot of it I didn't even write down. I did a lot of it on the fly and just kind of like worked through the song naturally that way, which was a lot of fun. And then you have the video that accompanies it, right? That lyric video is so important. Well, the song altogether kind of has this dichotomy of taking itself very seriously and not taking itself seriously at all. Being super light and fluffy and having that scathing sarcasm and then having some genuine social commentary um, about the internet and maybe people's relationship with the internet. It's cool to see the music meeting the video and it coming together to give you this full 360 view of both ends of that spectrum, kind of the yin and the yang, and really touch on some heavy topics that are very important in a lot of societies disconnect from not only each other, but hugely themselves. I thought like that was very important, if only to let other people know that they aren't alone um, and there are avenues to get help and support out there. I'm making a point not to make this song about just tearing things down and just straight hating on the internet. That song is cathartic to me even now. It was genuine and I was really feeling those feelings, but I think it's also important to ask yourselves, you know, how do we move forward from here and how do we build a better relationship with the internet or with anything that you're struggling with that matter. It's, it's important to have that mindset of how do we move forward. So I wanted to end this video by explaining how I had kind of moved forward with with my struggle, I think that my thought process about the internet, about being numbers based, all this, these tangible things was a little archaic. It's a little 2010, a little 2011. And a good friend of mine, Chris, actually challenged me to rethink my relationship with social media. I was making it all about me, 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 and what am I getting, and what is my music doing? And he had challenged me to look at social media and the internet as a genuine interaction with other people. For those of you that don't know, I'm super big into Dale Carnegie and his communication psychology, right? And he had said that it's, it's amazing what will happen in your life if you change the conversation from being about yourself to being about somebody else. When you focus on somebody else and you make them feel important, they are twice as likely to engage with you, to ask you how you're doing, to see what, what you're creating, or in this instance, be interested in your music or your art. Now you have to do this genuinely, right? You can't be disingenuous and manipulative, um, but you can certainly support and influence um, people through these positive actions. So I really started looking at social media as a way to get to know other people and have genuine interactions. It became about the comments. It became about the discussion that was opening. And if I got 12 comments on something, that was a huge win because that was a genuine interaction that was hopefully impactful and memorable and purposeful. Even just reaching out to people um, via the DMs to say that, hey, like I heard this song of yours, like Discover Weekly is a huge thing for me on Spotify. It's kind of how I stay sane and I love listening to all, all new artists and, and new music that come my way. But I'll reach out if I like a song and be like, hey, you know, I just wanted you to know that I, you, you popped up my Discover Weekly and the song is absolutely amazing. Keep it up. And the key is I'm not looking 
for an ask. I'm not going to follow up with, uh, hey, can you post this song of mine? Or, hey, can you check out this song? Don't do that. That's disingenuous and people are going to feel like they're being sold to. Just be genuine with that intent. Build that relationship and if it gets there to where they're asking you about your music and what you do, then you know for a fact that you've made an impact on this person, that you did this genuinely. And that'll tenfold come back to you more so than a hundred or a thousand or ten thousand empty likes or subscriptions with no engagement. So since then I've, I've been focusing on building uh, those solid relationships and it has freed me largely from the prison that I had chosen to put myself in before. So that being said, again, I'm Sam Sky. Um, I hope you guys had a great time listening to I Hate the Internet. Definitely uh, like it, share it, put it in your playlist, whatever, rock out, have fun with it. And thank you so much for listening. Much love. Why you gotta hit my phone up, phone up Told you I don't need validation, oh no I don't need likes or follows, baby It's true, no I don't need you Leave me alone You gotta be always posting something Chasing likes for nothing Say you so to Instagram Hashtag loser, I can't stand a hype He send a bullshit, I hate all of this new shit Quit and throw my phone. Yeah, I hate, I hate the internet.